Alright guys, hope you're good. So this routine I'm going to show you now is by far the hardest routine that you'll do, but I guarantee it'll give you the biggest rewards. So if you can complete this routine, you know in your head you've got nothing to fear when you're going to matches. When you're under pressure and you need to pop one down the rail, when it's match ball, frame ball, anything like that, you know you're going to be full of confidence because you practiced it over and over again and it just feels natural to you. So as you can see, this is how you set the balls up. Everything tight on the rails, tight on the cushions. You can't play no doubles, no trebles, no development shots. You can't sit on balls, for instance. You couldn't pot that and sit on that yellow to give you an easy red. So if you touch another ball after you potted one, the routine's failed. And as always, we're going to finish on the black. So I'll talk you through my effort, try to give you a few tips along the way, and we'll see how we get on. So first of all, I'd just like to pot this yellow down the rail, bring the white back out for that yellow next. So here, I'd like to hit it a little bit harder because I want the white up the table for this red next. Obviously, if you hit it too hard and hit that yellow, the routine's finished. So it's all about judgment. So now we're just going to trickle this red in, leaving ourselves on this red next. Make sure you don't touch this red because we're making it as game like as possible. So what I'd like you to do here is put a little bit more pace on it. We're going to come up the table for this red next. If you under hit it, you're going to be snookered with this yellow. So it's quite an important shot. So now I just want you to pot this red, bring the white off the cushion for this red next. Here. Ideally, I would love to be on this yellow. If I can get the white up here, I'm going to be really happy. Obviously, we've got this red here and this yellow if it goes wrong, but try and get on this yellow next. So here, it's vital that you get the white off the cushion. If you're hampered with a cushion, you're not going to get any reaction on the cue ball, and it's going to make it really hard to get on your next ball. Now, this is a very important one. I know if I pot this, I need to be around here for this red next, because then we're getting down to the business end. As you can tell, these four balls are by far the hardest balls. So how we get on them balls is going to determine if we complete the routine or not. So this shot here, I'm already thinking three shots ahead. So it's vital that we get on this red good. So we're pretty good. I can top this through and leave myself on this yellow next. You can go to try and leave yourself on both balls, but be very careful you don't go into the centre bag. If you put too much, you're going to go in off. So ideally, top spin to land around here for this yellow next. So now I know if I pop this, I'm going to come across here and we're going to have this yellow or we're going to get on the other two. So as we can see, like I said, we've got that yellow. Here, I just want a little bit of angle. So ideally, I would like to come here because obviously when we pop this red, we need to come back across. So it's vital you leave yourself, don't leave yourself straight or you've got no chance. So we've got that little bit of angle. We're going to come, pop this red, bring the white off the cushion, back out for this red next. So here, a straight red down the rail, leaving ourselves on this yellow next. So now we've done all the hard work. If we can just stun this in, back for the black, we've completed the drill. Now, black into the centre. 
and that's the routine I'm playing. So like I say, it's the toughest routine you will do, but I guarantee it'll give you the biggest rewards. So many times in games you see people playing doubles, playing trebles, and that's all because they're not confident down the rails. So if you stick with this routine, practice it all the time, you're not going to have to play doubles and trebles where it's more guesswork. Okay, you can sort of look at a double and fancy it, but I would much rather play the proper shot, play it down the rail, give yourself a huge chance of winning a frame and winning a match. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and good luck at home.